and welcome back to the second part of this Excel data entry form tutorial. So the next thing I would like to do is let me take care of these. Okay, these other three. So let's exit out of the system. Now maybe we should take care of reset first. Double click on reset. In the case of reset, instead of using instead of saying text box name or let's just group all of the text box together so this one is called txt reference so if i double click and paste that one in there dot text we can always use this method but as it's kind of like that would be too long for all the component that i have in there look it works there well i don't want to do that i'm going to exit out so what i want to do is to use a for loop okay get rid of that because they all have txt as their conventional name so i'm going to say dim i control okay as controls as control there so that's my variable for every single text box controls there so now i will use a for loop let's say for each i control in me dot control in me dot controls if i control dot name like txt I'm going to put a star there if I control that name like txt then I would like you to do this just clear anything we have in there so we can say I control equals VB non strings okay and just press enter and that will be all just say next Okay, that's it have a good look at those lines of codes okay if I run it now let's enter whatever in there click on reset there we go all gone go back to exit and exit okay the next thing for us to do is let's take care of this add record before I take care of the delete so double click on that in the case of add record i'm going to declare the following dim worksheet wks stand for worksheet as work it's not going to be workbook i'm going to choose worksheet right there there then let's say dim add i'll say add new as range then the next thing is set worksheet equals sheet one there so the variable wks is now class as sheet one and right here let's move this down that's my sheet one there okay i believe you guys can see sheet one right here okay so that's now variable wks all right let's continue now the next thing i like to do is to set add new equals sheets uh, workbook dot range okay open up the range i believe i might be wrong because the range as far as i know it was meant to be approximately uh, 65 thousand three hundred and fifty six it might be more than that now i would say dot 
end that will be the end of the workbook itself up to the top okay dot let's offset it open a bracket one comma zero okay. now what I'm trying to achieve is whatever data enter inside this text box when I click on add I want them to be added straight onto my workbook here or worksheet that's what I'm trying to achieve now so back to my code now let's say add name so let's add names dot offset for each components so the first one is going to occupy column 0 row 0 dot value and what's the value that goes inside that would be equals to txt reference dot text so that's the very first one and that the txt reference does text that is it right there the next one is going to be name first name surname address and so on so I'm just going to copy that across and change the names around copy I have about 10 or 12 something like that let's see how many do I have 4 10 so I have 8 there and I need 2 more okay so I will then change these numbers so that will be 1 2 3 4 and so on guys and now let's change the names so this one will become first name This becomes surname and we have address here okay then we have postcode followed by telephone registered and this one will be proof of ID member type member fees there that is it all done now the other thing I like to achieve is I would like every single data that is entered in here I like it displayed on this very list box this is a list box there you can see it list box okay but before I will continue what I want to do is try this out and see if it's going to display on my list box sorry on my workbook so but first of all let's enter the following headings the next one is going to be sword uh, first name sword in address postcode okay so I finished with the title so I'm gonna go back to my visual basic or VBA so let's come in here now let's run it and see what those lines of code will do and let's say we enter that and the name is Paul Owen 
and the address let's say 15 15 daily wait okay and the postcode let's just make up something there telephone number date let's enter today's date okay that's today's date and um, proof of ID let's say pilot pilot license member type is going to be annual fee paid 145 okay so the next thing is let me move this aside you see all of the data that I've just entered so I'm going to move this aside and let's click on this add record you see that guys look you see that is nice okay but guess what I also want those information to appear on this list box so I'm going to exit Oh, first of all let's see try out the reset again there yeah, that's fine so let's exit and take care of the delete and this as well so I'm going to take care of this first then before we take care of the delete all right let's go back into add record double click on add record right underneath here let's call our list box LST display dot columns that will be column count this very one okay equals 10 because I have 10 data in total okay and see display LST display right on media dot rule source equals I'm going to ask it to come from let's say B1 up to J3 no J6000 65000 plus paste that there right and that's all there is to it okay let's run that and see what's gonna happen enter some data in here let's say that and the name this time around is Johnny Johnny Goodman address of Goodman number three Kingsland right and postcode whatever telephone number date of good man that's uh, that's the date and let's say good man is a student okay student ID and here annual And fee pay is that so let's add good man's details onto our spreadsheet here let's see that and make sure the data also appears here click yeah you see that guys that's the main thing all of the information are displayed here if I click on Johnny Goodman again there you see I now have Johnny Goodman twice so I should be able to just select and delete so that's what I need to achieve now okay so close that and come right down here double click on delete and right there inside delete right here inside delete I will now enter the following first of all declare a variable I'll call that I as integer and use the follow for I 
equals zero to the range. And in this case, my range starts from A. Let's enter a quote A to 65,000 plus. Close that dot till the end. X up. Close that dot roll. Minus one. Now let's see if display dot select or selected I then I want the following to happen so row I dot select And selection dot delete and if and next I right okay that's it let's get this indented so that we can understand what's going on here into just indent or oh, this one should be rows looks a bit rough right that's much better okay have a good look at those lines of code then we'll try it out that is for the delete and this very one is for exit okay that's for exit and this one as well Okay, so let's run it now. Try it out. Okay, enter some data in here. And the name. Let's say Miriam Holy. Miriam Holy Way. Address. Let's say Johnny Highway. All right, close code and telephone number. Date fifteen. Since member type, okay, she is a monthly paying member, and how much is that? Let's say that's about 45. No, let's say 25. Right, all we then need to do is let's come in here so that we can see everything. Okay, move this so that you see the details of Miriam Holywell. Click, look at that guys there that is fine so now to try out the delete button so I'm gonna select maybe select Johnny and just click there we go you see one Johnny is left now okay there now we can just delete all this content of Paul that we have in there Paul is everywhere you see that so you see how the delete button works and it's also deleting up here inside the workbook okay look at that okay so guys what i'm going to now do is to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed and you all have a nice day now subscribe and like thanks for watching and bye for now